Hello Year 10. Today I am going to show you how to use GE Graph and Google Earth to put GIS graphs onto your controlled assessment. You will need to use Google Earth and GE Graph. They are both installed on Mr. Newton's computers. You will also need your latitude and longitude for each site. Site 1, Site 2, Site 3 and Site 4. And also the data you wish to plot. Today I wish to plot the discharge of the river Tadera. So, the first thing to do is to go to Google Earth. Now, if you look in Google Earth, you will see my places, ensure that the box is ticked, and then you will need to right click on my places and add folder. You can call this folder La Tadera, and it's going to contain all the data that will be placed onto your Google Earth. Um, once you've done that folder you then need to find the place marks or create the place marks using the latitude and longitude so the first one I'm going to call site 1 and then I get the latitude and longitude for site 1 and I enter it into the correct boxes note that I am in fact separating the whole number into two numbers of the latitude that ends with the letter N which stands for northern and the longitude which ends with E which stands for east and is the easting so there we go so that's my first one um, if you look at Spain now which is where we did the field work obviously and zoom in you will see that my place mark has appeared right there now we just need to do this for three more sites. There we go. So right click on the folder, add place mark, call it site two. We get the latitude and longitude. Oops, a daisy. has created a new place mark. Site 3 Latitude and Longitude Last of all, side four. The latitude and longitude for side four. And there we have all of our place marks for site 1, site 2, site 3 and site 4. If we zoom in a little bit closer we can see the different locations of those sites. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to click on the Latadera folder in Google Earth, right click and go to save place as and we're going to call it Latadera and we're going to save it as a KML file not the KMZ but a KML. And there we go. Now the next thing to do is to open GE Graph and open the file that you just created which is called Latadera KML. Once we open that you can see the latitude and the longitude and the site name have been put into this little table here. And then I want to add my data. I'm going to add discharge so it's 0 0.78 for site 1 and it's 0 0.28 for site 2, 0 0.17, and 0 0.11. It's up to you what data set you choose. You could do velocity, you could do cross sectional area. It's entirely up to you and what you think is appropriate for your assessment. Once I've added the data to uh, put the graph back onto Google Earth, that's all I click is run. 
and then it creates a new KML file called Lat Terra Graph that will appear somewhere here in Google Earth. So I'll do that, and there we go. It has created bars to show the data. Now, if you want to make changes, which you probably will have to do, uh, you will make the changes in this interface and then just press run again to change them. So let's let's have a look at our data. Um, it's not very clear at the moment. Uh, site 1 and Site 2 is a bit close together. Um, so we can change some of the settings to make it look better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the size, content, uh, constant size. I discovered from playing around with the software that 500 meters is quite a good size to do it. You may wish to do the same. Or you may wish to do your own size depending on your preference. So I click run, I click save. Now this time it asks me do I want to replace and I do. And then do you want to lose the edits? Yes, I don't mind losing them. So if you look there, it's now a better looking graph. It gives you a better perspective of the different data numbers for each site. And in fact, you can see site one is very different from site two now, and you can see that difference. So another thing I might want to change is the color. I might wish to have a constant color. I click fill there. Uh, I'd like yellow. And like I said, with every change, you click run, save, replace it and lose any edits and it will get rid of the previous graph so uh, one last thing that I might want to do is go back to GE graph and I might want to have the value of the data and the place name on the bars so that you can actually read the data as well as get a visual understanding so I click run again uh, sorry before that I clicked place name and value I click run save yes yes and as we can see we have the data numbers up there so if I wish now I can actually remove the the pins or the place marks to make it look a bit better and then I can just play around toggle with these settings to try and find the best picture uh, so that I can screenshot it and put it into my control assessment. So I might want to get this view and then I would screenshot it and then copy and paste that with a title. Um, you might want to put your units in, units for this, uh, into your control assessment. Thank you very much for listening.